I mean, it's, it's exciting to be recognized as a national author. Um, <laughs> I think uh, people nominated me for this award going back to when I was an emerging author and just had, you know, um, uh, one or two books out. And, um, and so it's really exciting to, uh, to be celebrated by my home state and to uh, feel um, that Indiana is proud of me for, you know, sort of uh, transcending its own borders, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so it's, it's exciting to, to be recognized by my home state. It's, you know, I grew up here, I'm, my family moved here when I was four, and I've lived, you know, here all through elementary school, middle school, high school, those formative years. You know, it's impossible to know what kind of person I would be, who I would be if I had grown up in a different place. Um, and so I do feel that wherever I go, I'm bringing Indiana with me and my experience of growing up in Indiana with me. Um, well, I was a big reader growing up. Uh, my mom was very big on the library, so she took me to the Allen County Public Library in Fort Wayne, um, several of the branches we used to frequent. And, um, and so that experience, I think, helped prime me to become a writer, but I didn't define myself as a writer until I, well after college. Ah, the question of inspiration is always a tricky one. I find, if for different books, I find inspiration in different places. I'm very often inspired by questions that I have about the world, things I want to understand better. I try to imagine what it would be like to live in a different place or a different time when I'm writing historical fiction, what it would be like to be a different person, making difficult decisions in a different landscape. And books are really great for that, for promoting empathy, for allowing people to see the world through someone else's eyes.